Hi, and welcome back to another episode of the King of Smut 95, uh, playing Lang Greaser. Um, in today's episode, I'm going to do something a little bit unique. Um, I'm going to go over how we, uh, we went through and found information about video games, okay? And again, one of the main you know, things that we did at this uh, you know, time, because again, you know, we're, we're at that sort of time, 1995, 1998, our Windows is basically, you know, the Windows 95, no Windows 98. So again, the internet experience is, is, is quite a bit different than what you would expect now. And information about things like video games and even Japanese animation in general was very hard to come by. So I'm going to show you in today's episode on how we had to go through and use the, uh, what we found in Japanese magazines to basically help us um, uh, you know, get a better understanding of uh, particular animes and, and of course the video games itself. And in today's episode, the focus anime uh, game that I'm going to focus on is Langreaser 5, The End of the Legend. Okay, so I was looking for Langrisa stuff, and uh, by request, uh, I decided to put this stuff in together into one uh, section, okay? So when I was looking through my Saturn magazines and that kind of stuff, I dug up uh, this particular one here, okay? I actually picked up two, okay? So this one is uh, uh, the Sega Saturn magazine, um, um, and the big feature article, of course, is Langreaser 5, okay? Um, there's another one here, I'll, which I'll quickly just show you here. Uh, this is called the... Great Saturn, okay, uh, magazine, okay, for July, uh, July, okay, uh, almost same time, actually. same, same time of the month, okay. So they're basically doing a big, huge release of uh, of Langreaser Five, okay, and uh, obviously on July nineteen ninety eight. And they want basically a lot of people want to you know get in on the game and get, and show you what, the, what what what's available. So I'm gonna go over the first one for you really quickly here. And um, this one just wanted to point out a, a, a few things that that are in the, this magazine and you know what what was sort of the thing that was going on at this time. Okay, so and some of the kind of cool stuff that goes on. Okay, so might have to edit this to me. Make this a supplementary episode here. Okay, so you quickly look into the, um, you know, into the first, uh, you know, index of the magazine here. And of course, you know, it features a big, you know, nice article. Yes, yes. And like, at the end of Langreaser, okay, as well as, of course, you know, the Sacro Wars and that kind of stuff that's going on at this time. Um, so you flip ahead to the Langreaser part of the, the uh, of the book here. And again, this was, this particular book, uh, has a nice sort of introduction to what you know what the players can expect from the game and that sort of thing. You can, again, quickly shows you a lot of the uh, Urushuhara artwork that, that that's going on. Uh, give me a quick out, uh, out uh, look up all the various different characters and that kind of stuff that are in the game. Oops, I, should, I should move it more this way. Uh, all the various different characters that, that that are available in the game and and, and you know how they're sort of related. Uh, you can see how they are. Yeah, we'll next page here. And quick sort of overview of uh, you know how the story is sort of uh, you know going to shape up and whatnot. You can even see some of the characters and that kind of stuff in the thing, okay? And that's what this one, th this one, uh, this uh, said the Great Saturn Z magazine, uh, you know, gives you an introduction, okay? But of course, you know, I was sort of subscribing to lots of different magazines and that kind of stuff at the time, and just picking them up as a random. So I, that's why I picked up the, uh, you know another similar magazine, the Saturn Z magazine. This one, um, you know, even tells you right on the right on the right thing here. It has a twenty-page article in insert for uh, Langreaser Five uh, on this one. So this is why, um, you know, th it was very, very important. Like, hey, okay, so you know, this is gonna be like a, a, a big feature in this uh, uh, in, in this game, right? So you can kind of. Uh, and you can see, this is why I always, uh, I always hated this, these pages, right? Um, this is the, uh, the, 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 the fan page, okay? And this is where, if you, you know, like, they, they basically give you uh, this option to, uh, to, 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 to basically, you know, write in something, or maybe you draw a picture, or like a dojin picture or something, and, 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 and you, and you send it in. And if you were one of the people that get, you know, drawn or whatever thing, then you can get some of this the stuff, okay? 
you can win some of this stuff. And, and, and some of this stuff is pretty cool. I mean, you know, uh, they got the box set for uh, Desire here, which is that, uh, one of those uh, smut games. Tokyo Mechie Memorial stuff. Uh, you know, t shirt here. What is it? What is that a t shirt for? The Zap snowboarding t shirt uh, kind of thing. You got um, some cards and that kind of stuff. Uh, you got some figurines over here for. Um, uh, what was that? Uh, oh, um, um, Arjaja Jambri. There's a Seiyu card here. Uh, there's a bunch of like uh, like special Sega Saturn stuff, and it's really cool because the fact that that if you actually sent it in, you can actually get the stuff, right? Like there, there's a chance that you may actually win some of the stuff that, that, that that's actually on here. Um, anyway, so uh, okay, so again, you know, nice sort of uh, you know first early scene uh, of, of of the game, right? Now, what was really important about this at this at this time is that um, there isn't internet uh, the same way that we have it here like I mean sure when the time the Sega Saturn came out you know there was stuff that, that was available on the internet but you know you couldn't go to like gamefaq.com or something and expect them to show you know them to tell you any information on how to do Langreaser 5 I mean it's bad enough that they had any um, you know uh, any information on English games that came out at this time but I mean you know when this game comes out you know, July 2000, uh, or so July 1998, okay, right, you get to think, 98, like Windows 98, okay, so I mean, you just think of the internet you get with Windows 98, all right, out comes this game, you know, like Reacher 5, okay, you go and boot up your Netscape Navigator or something, and you're trying to go, oh, well, you know, uh, uh, you know, I can't find any information on how this game is played, right? So, you know, you, you're really, really kind of all screwed. Um, so basically, so you had to get one of these magazines, and this magazine is really good because it actually, as you can see, tells you, hey, here's scenario four, all right? And here's all the stuff that you get, and here's your, here's your stats, and here's the map, okay? And we're going to draw you an arrow and tell you, okay, you're going to take you guys, and you're going to go and do this, and blah, 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 blah. And then, you know, and then they continue onwards and, you know, like here's, here's, uh, you know, uh, how to actually do it. So basically, it's, it, it, it's literally kind of like, you know, like, like the guidebook or the game FAQ or the, or the, or the cheat sheet, if you will, um, which tells you, you know, you know, what, what, what you're doing, right? And so here's again, um, you know, for uh, scenario five and scenario six, you know, show basically numbering your, uh, your, you know, your, your your troops that are on the, on the ground and it tells you in which direction that you're going to be sending your guys and that kind of stuff uh, you know stats and that kind of stuff are all available for you as well okay I'm go here there's scenario uh, you know seven and eight okay and again we were at a time where these things were very very important for us because I mean this is this is how we had to do it like, I mean I mean and, and again the people who play things like for example like even war song or um, um, you know, like Greece one or two, right? Like you look at the instruction book, and they don't tell you that you know there's permadeath, and they don't tell you on level one, oh, don't try to kill everybody, just you know, just just escape with Layden, and, and, and you're you're good, right? You know, but no, no, I'm I'm gonna stick around. I'm gonna uh, you know, I want to kill everybody. Uh oh, why are all my guys dying? Why are my guys not strong enough? You know, why is Volkov like the only guy that does anything, and my guys are like total crap, right? Now, because they don't tell you, okay? So that's scenario 9 and 9, you know, scenario 10, okay? Okay, and this is where the levels start getting really complicated here, because, like, here's, here's, here's level 12 here, uh, you know, level 11 and 12 here, and you see 11, it's like, okay, you guys got to flank the guys outside the castle, you got to flank a, you know, a unit into the castle, you got to flank another unit in there, and, okay, here's another one where you have to go all the way around it, and, you know, Totally different strategies and that kind of stuff on, on how to do it. Um, okay, see, same thing here, right? So it was very imperative that these type of you know magazines and that kind of stuff you know came out to tell you how to do these levels and that kind of stuff and 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 um, and, and you know find out uh, you know uh, uh, you know all the information about 
how and what you're supposed to do because of that. you never knew this kind of information you know you, you know like you never knew that for example uh on the level one you can get a devil axe you know and, and the devil axe is a plus seven minus two right you didn't even you know you don't know these stats um because they're not written in the book right but if you get a magazine like this right they'll tell you all the various different information and all the different kind of stuff that you need to know item you know item lists and that kind of stuff uh, you know progression chart and and, and uh, you know and whatnot that you need to know okay and that's where this information comes from okay you know you wouldn't know that so for example uh, and again in the language research you know this is you know the character level up charts okay so if you want to know what level and 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 who, who you know what classes they can become and what and whatnot and whatever you know you needed a book like this to tell you because again the instruction manual of course of your you know say saturn release of language of five ain't gonna tell you nothing right and of course you know and there's a another uh really really detailed chart of um all the you know the wet all the uh, soldier types and and whatnot and and, and what the you know the, the the power up and that kind of stuff on them uh stat ability and that, all, all the kind of stuff on that kind of stuff again so that's again so you wonder well where do they get this all this information how they know it's plus this plus that or whatever and what what is the, the number strength it's these magazines that will tell you all this information that's that's where they get this information from they figure it out and, and, and they, they they write it and they publish it in this 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 kind of uh, a format or this is this book for you okay so again some more charts and that kind of stuff for um you know uh, uh, uh you know love reaction and where the things are and that kind of stuff in that again so very very valuable information um for lang research five uh and and you know that so, so, so it basically tells you all the, you know the the magic weapons what they do range uh, you know what they uh, improve and how much they improve. Well, how many pluses do you get? You know, you know plus three, plus five, plus one, whatever. Uh, it's all on these on, on this chart. And again, that's why you know this kind of information is very important. And again, at, at, at this time, you know, uh, you know these magazines come out monthly, and they, you know they contain different stuff. Again, if you're following Saturday magazines, you know that, that's great because you know it tells you all the new releases, it tells you what's coming up, uh, but it also you know it tells you all the information about. It. And again. If you look at really the the back here, it's not all that expensive. It's five hundred and fifty yen. Okay, so ten bucks, eleven bucks, whatever you know, whatever. Okay, so uh, well you know it's not that bad, and you can you can use it to you know to get all your information on that, and of course you know figure out uh, new uh, you know stuff and whatnot to, to get to, to to get and whatnot. And again, it's always good to to, to get all these new ads and that kind of stuff because it's these ads that tell you how you get stuff okay so it's not only just um you know hey this is the information to get you know the um you know the the, the game like you know i.e this is what you need to buy the game with but what happens if you want to buy let's say the art book uh for it or you know in this case uh you know let's say they have the advertisement for like a cd or something right um, you know, if you want to get the CD for this, you know, here's the ordering information, you know, um, you know, the, the, you can take this over and, uh, you know, uh, over to the, you know, take, you know, take the magazine over to the, to the bookstore and say, Hey, uh, I saw this, uh, ad here, you know, can you, you know, I saw this ad here. Can you order this thing right here, whatever this is, blah blah blah, for language or five, whatever, and blah, blah, blah. Can you can you get that for me? Here's the publishing information. Here's the price and all that sort of stuff. Uh, hmm. Anyway, uh, so yeah, so this little thing is, is, is I actually don't even know what this thing actually is. It's some sort of book or pamphlet or something. Uh, but the price is only thirteen fifty. So it's probably a guidebook I'm going to gather. So again, if, you know, if these twenty pages isn't expansive enough for you, to, you know, to know what what's going on in language, then that actual book, uh, thirteen hundred, yeah. So it's probably about twice or the same thing as this book, but it's all language to five. So this might be the way to, 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 to you know, that, that you want to go to get that. But again, that is the information you got from this book, and that's how you learn how to, you know, you know get more information for that. So. That's sort of in a nutshell, uh, you know, the, the, the uh, you know, basically how you would use um, these magazines at this time that was coming out. Because again, this is 
July 1998. So again, the best Windows you're going to have is probably Windows 98. And again, what you were probably using was like Netscape Navigator. You know, can you imagine the Internet Explorer that you had that was in, you know, uh, Windows 98? I mean, well, you know, like, what kind of internet browsing kind of ability you had at that time, you know, in terms of language and all that kind of stuff. You know, obviously Google was it's not even like, you know, the same kind of thing. You know, you know, a lot of people were still using Yahoo as the main search engine and that kind of stuff. So, I mean, finding information about these games, especially trying to find, you know, any information that's, just, that's like, you know, English or, you know, let alone Japanese, right? You know, like any information is like, like next to none. So again, these magazines were your key um, lifeline to how to do these things, right? Again, sure, you might not be able to read it, you might not be able to you know, do it, but you, you know, you, you kind of had to, you know, pull out your dictionary and you kind of, okay, you know, ask your, your, your Japanese friends and gonna say, hey, you know, you know, but again, fortunately, you know, when I was running the anime store, I had, you know, I have translators, you know, we were doing lots of fan subs at this time, so I had, you know, multiple different uh, people, um, you know, who were doing you know, translations and stuff at that time, I could, could always easily, you know, go up to them and say, you know, hey, um, kind of stuck in the game, can you tell me what's sort of going on? I mean, I, I mean, obviously I can follow the pictures and saying, okay, hey, you know, maybe move this guy here and move these guys around. You know, whatever. Okay, fine. I'll try to just copy what what what, what the what the what the game map sort of sort of does, and then you know that sort of, so we so we, we we can you know fuddle around with it. But but fortunately, at the time, um, uh, uh, see, Daishi was you know more the language of one and two uh, um, um, kind of player, but um, uh, Fumi, okay. Um, he was uh, really a big fan of uh, of the Langrisa series, and and I remember he um, really sat through and he you know really grinded that kind of game. So again, he was one of the ones that that, that played the game, and he could you could always ask him questions on on how on how, the, how that was played out and how to do that kind of level and that kind of stuff. So uh, it was good that we always had that kind of a you know that kind of a person around you know in the store uh, when that happened. Okay, so but again. You know, it all starts from getting the information from the books, all right, or from the magazines, and uh, that was really an important part of gaming. And again, in the modern day, that's kind of been lost um, because you know people kind of go, "Well, I'll just record myself doing a playthrough," or you know, or if we get stuck, we'll just go to YouTube and we'll find someone who already played through it and does a walkthrough or whatever, and we'll try to figure it out. But again someone had to do you know go through and find the walkthrough or do the walkthrough and um you know kind of you're missing that kind of you know, without you know hacking into the game to try to figure out what the, what all what all the you know the internal numbers are for uh you know power and strength and that kind of stuff you may not be able to ever find those uh, um you know available anymore right because for example if you're playing the mobile game or you're playing language one or two you know they don't give you tables which tell you exactly how strong a particular weapon is compared to another one um, why would you want to use you know this um, you know why would you know what is the you know the difference between an, an Arrhenius armor and a mirror armor and uh, you know the battle armor or sort of the assault armor you know what exactly is the difference I mean they all seem to have roughly the same DF um, you know some you know have different, uh, you know, hit point duration, you know, pluses to hit points and pluses to this, whatever, whatever, that was great, but like defensively, you know, all the DFs look about the same, so are they really the same, are they not, you know, you can't really find those numbers out, uh, unless of course, you know, they made a magazine or something that which, which they you know, published and put that kind of information in there, okay. Okay, so what you want to do right now is you want to hit like and you'll hit subscribe, be right below, and then you'll get more episodes where I go over uh, some different things uh, from the uh, world of anime and games, okay? So, until next time, see you again.